Honey, did you remember to check on the generator? Uh... When a storm hits and the power goes out, your generator can be the only thing standing between you and darkness. That's why it's so important to make sure that your generator is in good working order. In this video, we'll show you some basic generator maintenance tips that you can perform annually to make sure your generator is ready in case of an emergency. And remember, if you need any replacement parts to get your generator running again, you can find them by entering your generator's model number at ereplacementparts.com. If you have a larger generator, you'll likely have a battery assist to get it started. You're going to want to make sure that the battery is charged at all times, and this can involve putting it on a battery charger on a regular basis. If you notice your generator won't turn over easily or won't turn over at all, it's a sign that the battery could be dead. Check to make sure that the battery cables are not loose or corroded. You can also use a voltage meter to check that your battery is in good shape. If the battery won't hold a charge, it's time for a new one. The next step you'll want to take is checking the generator's oil. If your oil level is too low, the generator won't start. You're going to want to change the oil if it's running low and most manufacturers recommend an oil change about once a year. The next step in our generator maintenance is to check the fuel system. It's important to note that you should never store fuel in your generator for a long period of time. It's a good idea to keep some fuel on hand, but don't leave it in the generator. Next, check your fuel tank and filter for any debris that might have made its way in. Check on the fuel lines to make sure they're not cracked, corroded, or leaking. You're also going to want to check the air filter. If it's dirty, it can be clean, but if it's really damaged, you'll want to replace it. Most generators call for foam type filters to be saturated in engine oil before they're reinstalled, so check your owner's manual to see what's right for your model. Now that the filters have been inspected, you'll want to turn your attention to the starter. Check to make sure that the cord isn't frayed or damaged, and if you notice any issues, it's time to replace it. The final step in inspecting the engine is to test the spark plug. Check for any corrosion or damage and make sure to check the spark plug wire as well. If the spark plug is showing any significant wear, it's a good idea to replace it as well, and many manufacturers recommend that you replace the spark plug regularly. It's a quick, cheap, and easy way to get your generator started with ease. Lastly, you'll want to check the electrical connections to make sure there's no sign of damage or wear. Check the ones going to the fuel solenoid and the starter, and again, you're looking for signs of corrosion or damage. Make sure to replace any parts that show these signs. Now that we've given everything a look over, add a little bit of fuel to the generator and fire it up. Make sure that it's running smoothly. Plug something into the outlets to ensure everything is in order, then shut it down, drain the fuel, and store it for the next time you need it. Thanks for watching. We hope you've learned some valuable tips for maintaining your generator so you don't have to worry the next time you lose power. Remember, if you need to replace any of the parts we've gone over or anything else on your generator, replacement parts are just a click away on ereplacementparts.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on more helpful videos.